Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a pick a card reading, or rather a pick a deck reading, and we're using playing cards. And the question we're asking is, is he or she coming back into our lives? And um, this may pertain to love, it may pertain to somebody that you're interested in, is it may pertain to somebody that you've broken off from, it may pertain to a, an estranged relative or family member. It may um, pertain to uh, an old friend from your childhood or a childhood love. And um, the question is, um, is this person who is not in your life at this moment or hasn't come forth in your life at this moment, are they going to come back or are they coming forth in any way? And you have a choice of um, deck one. Uh, with that back here, deck two, deck three, uh, with this back here, and deck four. And so we are asking the question, are they coming back? Is he or she coming back? And uh, the, the spread that I'm going to do is going to yield a yes or no answer. And so it's going to be very clear. And at the end of the reading, I will give you um, some clairvoyant insights as to how the situation is going to pan out. So take a moment and decide whether you would like deck one, two, three, or four. So if you've made your choice, you can go down to the timestamp below and go directly to your reading. If not, you may pause the video to decide. Okay, so, and we've done this reading already before. I've showed you how this works. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and begin and explain it along as we go along. So yes, so there's clubs, clubs, and clubs. And what we're going to do here is we, because there are two clubs here, they match each other. So we take them out of the system and we put them aside. We don't need them at this moment. Okay? And we continue. We need to get more that match. And when we get them that match, alternatively, then uh, we take them out. Like this. And once again. The goal is to actually end up with um, the suits, um, all four of the suits, uh, just one card of all four of the suits. So if you actually end up with more than those cards, the answer is no. But if we end up with just four cards, uh, each of a different suit, the answer is yes. Some people do this card as well, matching. Um, like the 10 with a 10, for instance. Um, but I find it quite um, quite comfortable to match the suits, rather. So we do this for five rounds. It depends on how many cards we have. So um, usually we do this for five rounds in, in shorter car, uh, card decks. And um, you might have noticed that this um, deck is only from nine, 10 um, onward, but there's two rows of that. So I'm, going, I'm just gonna do it five times. 
And we'll see what we have now instead of that name. So once again. so you can have your answer as soon as possible. Okay, so that was your second round, which we've completed here, and we're going on for the third round. Okay, so this is, we're doing really well. We're going on to the fourth round now. And uh, we are still to determine um, whether they are coming back or not. Okay. So remember, you have five rounds of this. There we are. So... This is not yet correct. Do you see that? Now, some people um, rule this, these cards as being the... Um, they, they can also say that if you cancel out all the cards, the answer is uh, yes. But this is not the intention I put out when I, read the, when I began this reading today. I said um, that we need to have four cards of different suits at the end of the reading and we didn't and so we have no cards and so the answer here is no and the question the reason for it being no is that there is competition yeah if this is a um, if you're a female and you're asking if he's coming back you have competition he's not the only person in your life there's more than one person in your life and there's competition that uh, you have here there's more than one person interested in you. And this person that you're interested in is, is a, a bit jealous. So yes, you may have what you'd like, but they will always have some kind of jealousy with regard to, they'll have a sense of possessiveness regarding you. And I feel that they may come back or they, they may come back, but they are not there to stay. It will be fleeting, it will be joyous and fleeting, but then they will come up with all these other issues. There's a situation with the ex or with somebody else who's in love with you that's always coming up again and again. And it's a situ or it's, it's something where it may be their ex or your ex or somebody else who perhaps you work with that is interested in you and your partner is, is a bit jealous. I feel that he's kind of jealous, possessive type of person that wants to sort of have you to himself. If it's a male energy... If it's a female energy, if you're a, a man and you are asking whether he or she, whether she's coming back, um, or if you're wondering if a female is coming back into your life, regardless of whether you're a man or not, I feel the issue here is more like um, it's it's that they are happy, they've moved on, and they're actually not coming back, and uh, they're not. They have fond thoughts of you or the memories they hold dear to themselves. 
but there isn't a chance of them uh, coming through. They focus on moving ahead, uh, accumulating resources, working. They are busy with their own lives at this moment. So that's just what I feel from, uh, from these last cards. And so unfortunately for you, the card is no here. However, this just means that they are not coming forward. It doesn't mean that you can't uh, go ahead and meet with them and actually uh, just call them and, yeah, speak to them. So, for those of you who have chosen the deck number two, here we are. I'm just going to give it a quick shuffle and then we get started. And the question is, is he or she coming back in your life? Is he or she coming back in your life? So, we're going to start with the way we did the first one. Okay, take out the first two cards that correspond here and then we find that there are two more that correspond here and let's see if any more correspond here no so another two correspond there and we go on further The idea is to eliminate all the cards so that you're left with just one card of each suit. When you're left with one card of each suit, the answer is yes. If you have more than one suit, after five rounds of doing this, the answer is no. If you have no cards after doing this, uh, then it could be a yes or a no. Uh, however, I uh, the way I read, it means no. There's a good reason for no. But it doesn't mean that the door is open. It's not a no as in um, not ever. But rather that it's no for the moment. In any of these readings, it's just uh, reading the energy at the moment at which you are watching this video. And picking up that energy because that's the vibration that you're sending out. And so when you come to watch these videos, you'll be hearing what is a reflection of your own vibration in this given moment. So we're just asking really to see what is your vibration sending out here. What is it that you are expecting? What is it that you're hoping for? And what is the likely outcome? Of your own, of what you're putting out there into the universe. And when you have that realization that you are in fact the master of your own destiny, that you actually impact every single thing that happens in your life, then you in fact um, have the power to change it by your thoughts, by your attitude, by changing things in your life. Okay, so we have two more rounds. Let's see what happens from here. Oh, wow. So this is a very definite yes. See that? 
and it was on the third try. So yes, this person is uh, looking at coming back, and yes, they're going to take action to come back, and the, uh, the interaction that you have is going to be harmonious and will lead to, um, it will be more fruitful. It will lead to something that can be achieved as a result of you meeting again. It will lead to the possibility of something coming to fruition. Okay, so that was great. Straightforward uh, reading. And the answer for you is yes, he or she is coming back. And uh, it looks like they are thinking about it already. So we're going on to the deck number three. This is a card, uh, an elimination card game that we are playing to be able to determine what is the likelihood of him or her coming back. Okay. And the likelihood is very often, as I've mentioned in the previous uh, reading, um, dependent on what on the energy that you're sending out as well of course as uh, their free will so we pull out these consecutive cards that match with each other and we left with the rest So the question we're asking here, please keep in mind, your question is whether he or she is coming back. So these cards we don't use anymore. Is he or she coming back? Are they coming back into your life? Show us if they're coming back into your life. Okay. So that was the second round here, and uh, we're going to shuffle cards. We can do this five times altogether, so we're going on for the third round now. So once again, it cancels out. So, the answer is no. Um, there's been difficulty in the past. You've had a falling out in the past. And this person's walked away. They're very interested in money, accumulating wealth, um, their career. They're very focused on that right now. And it's all that they are interested in and achieving that. That is what's important to them. Um, they've adopted a persona of um, hardness, coldness towards you. And they're not interested in, in doing anything that uh, would require them to make an effort to come forward. So what may be the case is that they may speak to you and outline exactly how they feel about the situation at some point in the future. 
but I don't see them coming back um, in in an effort to resume a, a love relationship or kind of a partnership also. Um, if you are talking, if you are asking about this uh, with regard to a business partnership, it's more like they're focused on going on it on their own at the moment and cutting you out of it. Um, if you're asking about whether family members coming back, yes, then they are coming back, but they're coming back pompous and a bit arrogant and a bit full of themselves and full of their achievements that they've been able to accumulate. And... Uh, they can be quite cutting and incisive when it comes to you. So that is the uh, your reading for those of you who have chosen the uh, pile number three. The message for this one is don't always be careful for, of what you wish because it could come true and you won't really be all that happy about it. So it's almost as if the energy I'm picking up from this one is that you are hoping for something to happen and fantasizing about it and expecting it to be wonderful and, and thinking about all the ways in which it could play out. But in fact, what's going to happen is that this person may come back, but um, you'll be surprised with what they have to say to you. And I don't think you'll be all that happy uh, about what they have to say to you. You may be happy for them and celebrating them and their successes, but... Um, they are coming back quite self-centered about their successes. And uh, you may feel, you may uh, find that a bit tasteless. Okay, so we're moving on to the final uh, option, which is uh, your deck number four. And the question we're asking is, uh, yes or no? Is he or she coming back into your life? Are they coming back into your life? And yeah, show us how. If they are coming back in front of she must how that pans out. Okay. So we're going to begin. For those of you who haven't watched the readings before or haven't seen me do one of these readings online as yet, uh, what I'm looking for is uh, the two consecutive cards that match. I mean, sorry, two alternative cards that match. I always mix those two up. So these two match here. These two suits match, and so I'm taking them out. And then these two then match, so I'm taking them out. And these two don't match. No, so we need them. They match. They don't. They match again, and then these two come closer, so they match. And not more. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, that's the ones that we've gotten out. We don't need them anymore. I'm going to give these a shuffle and we're going to continue asking the question. We have, uh, that was one the first time and we have four more rounds. We have five altogether. And we're going to be asking the question, is he or she returning for those people that have chosen this deck for the deck number four?
here. Oh, hang on. I made a mistake. Let's bring that back here. Thought there was. Here it comes. Great. Wow. So, there we are. This is a yes answer. You have four different suits. You have no cards left over. This was in the second round. Okay, and this is a very definite yes answer. And um, what I see happening here is that there is definitely love here between you two. There's definitely harmony. There's definitely the willingness to be able to build something together, to be able to be together, to be able to enjoy something, whether it's family, whether it's just a love relationship. Um, I see it as something that... Um, going to come to fruition. It's in its, uh, it's its springtime. It's going to blossom. It's going to come to a point where it's ripe. And um, yes, this person is coming into your life. Um, they will come bearing gifts. And they will also come bearing, well, wanting. Oh, not wanting, but being passionate and wanting to take things to the next level, so to say. So it's the beginnings of some love here, beginnings of something that's coming to fruition and um, there's a chance of um, there's a chance of things being really good in a relationship if you were to choose to be in a relationship with each other. So that was it for you who've chosen uh, the deck number four and I hope that uh, things do come to fruition as they are pointed out in these cards here. And um, yes, so I'd like to thank you very much for coming by this channel and uh, watching this video to the to the, this point, as well as uh, all the support I've received uh, recently. And I wish you very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. All the best to you.